Aside from his appearances in numerous soap operas and guest appearances on primetime series, William Leroy Prince also appeared as a villain in The Gauntlet and Spontaneous Combustion. Phelps Memorial Hospital in Terrytown, New York, was the place where Prince passed away on October 8, 1996. As a character actor, William Nigel Ernal Bruce worked on stage and screen. Most of his fame comes from his role as Dr. Watson in a number of films and the radio series The New Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. At the age of 58, Bruce passed away from a heart attack in Santa Monica, California. Teresa Harris appeared with more stars than anyone else during the golden era of Hollywood. She also appeared in movies and television shows in addition to singing and dancing. It wasn't uncommon for her to steal scenes from the top stars of the day and make dull films worthwhile with her magnetic presence. On October 8, 1985, Harris died of undisclosed causes in Inglewood, California. In American films for many years, Italian actor Eduardo Cianelli portrayed mostly gangsters and criminals. He was sometimes credited as Edward Cianelli. Among his more than 150 film and television roles, his most famous role was as the fanatical Fugji guru in Gunga Din with Cary Grant. On October 8, 1969, Cianelli passed away in Rome. Known for her work in film, television, and the stage, Joan Ann Hackett was an American actress. In 1967, she appeared in the Western Will Penny. For her role in Only When I Laugh, she won the Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actress and was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. She died of ovarian cancer on October 8, 1983, at Encino Hospital in Encino, California. Emmeline Henry is an actress best known for playing Amanda Bellows on Alfred Bellows' 1960s hit situation comedy I Dream of Jeannie. Henry made her television debut in an episode of the ZIV production, I Led Three Lives, in 1955. She died of a brain tumor on October 8, 1979, at the age of 50. Fernando Lamas y de Santos was an Argentine-American actor and director. His son, Lorenzo Lamas, is also an actor. After signing a contract with Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer in September 1949, he primarily played Latin lover roles and occasionally sang in musicals. He died in Los Angeles of pancreatic cancer at the age of 67. Poland was the birthplace of actor Henryk Bista. The actor appeared in more than 110 films between 1961 and 1997. During the 28th Berlin International Film Festival, he won the Silver Bear for his film Death of a President. He died in Warsaw on October 8, 1997, and was buried in the Old Pawaski Cemetery. Frank Kenneth Sansom voiced Rabbit in animated television shows, television specials, and films for Disney's Winnie the Pooh franchise from 1988 to 2010. As a result of complications from a stroke, Sansom died on October 8, 2012 in Holiday, Utah. In addition to performing in theater and radio, Carl Swenson also worked in film and television. Peter Wayne was his stage name at the beginning of his career. He played Lars Hansen in Little House on the Prairie, his most popular television series. He appeared in 40 episodes between 1974 and 1978. Swenson died of a heart attack at Charlotte Hungerford Hospital in Torrington, Connecticut, on October 8, 1978.